I want to increase the quality of media that I've been putting out. I feel that putting out good media the entire year is a really difficult task and focusing on the later part of this year and having a production that is as good as it's going to be and as good as I can get it is really what I want to put out. I want to show people the cinematic side to these videos and not just the waves and the quality of waves and how good South African wave riding can actually be but also to focus on how beautiful our country is and how many of the the smaller things that people might miss on a day-to-day -day basis that you know I get to include in my life the ocean um, coming to places that are so remote there's no cell service and just going to those places that some people will never see in their lives and I wanted to showcase the beauty as well as the wave quality throughout South Africa. Basically, I wanted to show exactly what South Africa has to offer in the way of waves. A lot of people see you know, myself and Tristan and all the other South Africans getting a lot of waves, but not many people actually realize how strong the elements are that we have to go up against. Very cold waters to sharks, the wind factor. Out here in the desert, there's just nothing around. Everything has to be bought here in order for us to survive. So it was basically to show how many elements make up South Africa and the way that we ride waves and what we really have to put ourselves through, as well as bring in some things that I really like, and that obviously being coffee. So the coffee element into the whole series was just to show that there is so much of a coffee culture in South Africa. I think just to give these guys a showing and show the world exactly what South Africa is made of. Yeah, competition kind of took a back seat this year and it showed in the first couple events and I think that was mainly because I was putting so much effort into this video series and and trying to make it a success that I'm hoping it's going to be. I really had high expectations and I feel like in most of the videos the waves really did produce. Okay, so we started off with wind and wind was in the Eastern Cape because Port Elizabeth is actually known as the Windy City. Uh, the first stop we did was in Plettenberg Bay which was a little bit further down the coast and then we gradually went up the coast and ended up in Port Elizabeth where we surfed for majority of the time. But PE really had some good waves and I think that's one of the things that people don't realise is there's actually waves the whole way up our coastline and all you have to do is stop and have a look and hope that the winds are blowing offshore and there's going to be something around there for sure. So the next element was Earth. Uh, Earth we put down for Cape Town due to the fact that this is pretty much the place with the most beautiful scenery that we will see around South Africa. Majority of the time you're surfing sand bottom breaks, um, but you know there are those reef bottoms that, that get really good and get, get waves, but I prefer to get those uh, sand bottoms, the wedgie sand bottoms that you saw a lot in the video. I was pretty, pretty amped on the fire, the fire video for the one fact that fire is the only element that you ever have up the west coast. There's, uh, there's not much up there, there's no water, there's no real vegetation besides small shrubs. So fire just seemed like the right thing to have up, up on the west coast due to the fact that that gives you everything you need to consume food. We're always looking to make fire in the mornings to boil water for coffee. We're always looking for it to make food in the afternoons and the evenings. So that was one of the elements that I thought felt really good in that environment. Yeah, I mean, we, we only stayed in one of the spots up the west coast, which 
makes it a little bit difficult for diversity, but there are so many waves up there. I mean, just driving the coast back, uh, back home and you're looking down the line and there's just wave after wave after wave as it goes down the coast. So, I mean, the diversity is there. There's rock structure, there's beaches, there's big beaches. Um, and again, the, the elements of wind factor in there, but it was just, it's an amazing trip. You get to disconnect completely with technology and really just focus on having a good time and spending some good time with mates. So it was really worth it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really spend much time here in South Africa, so trying to get four separate videos in four separate places over the course of our winter, which is only really, you know, four to six months long, and majority of that I'm not even here, was, that was definitely one of the biggest challenges that we faced during the series. Um, I really wanted to show the place where I grew up in Durban, but unfortunately there was nothing significant up there that kind of led me to go up to Durban to film the water side of things. So what we've decided to do is do something a little bit different and just make a video that's really artsy and really diverse in the fact that it's not just about the surfing but also about elements and putting these elements like water into the mix, which is something that we're in all the time in the sport, and it seemed like it was something that we should really do. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't, there's not too many um, downers, I would say. It's, uh, for the most part, been pretty smooth sailing. I'm really, really stoked that we got the opportunity to get waves up the coast in the Eastern Cape, go down to Cape Town and get to score two unbelievable days in Cape Town. And then, you know, head up the West Coast, head to Lambert's Bay, get pumping waves in Lambert's Bay, and then come up the West Coast to one of the places that I just really enjoying coming to and just shutting off completely. So for me, there's not really that many downsides besides the fact that I might have put a little bit too much energy into this instead of channeling it into other things. But again, I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, the last couple of years on tour have been really difficult and I think taking a break and focusing my energy on something else might get me really excited for the, for the future. I've done a couple of these in the past, nothing to this extent, but I have tried to showcase South Africa in the best light and I think that's my main goal, is just to, to bring more people in here, to create the tourism side of things in our sport, and to show people that, you know, South Africa might have its bad qualities, but on the other side, we've got pumping waves. It's extremely cheap here, and I just want to get the awareness out there that people can come here and they can know that there's going to be good waves if they go up the coast or if they stay here locally in town. So we shot in town for over two or three days and we created a whole video. So um, I really enjoy these, these shorter trips and making these videos because that's something that allows me to do what I do best and also gives people an opportunity to just see into my life and, and kind of get to know me a little bit better. I'm really looking forward to the future and to see exactly what I can create with Brenda Film Club.